I am the recipient of three large uh, grants, um, most notably the Fulbright Fellowship for U.S. Students, as well as the NSF GRFP, um, along with a, uh, another large one called the Kaplan Graduate Award, which specifically focuses on my kind of work. Um, and I guess uh, my biggest advice on funding and kind of the process that I went through was to A, be persistent, because you, the door will be shut in your face along the way, but also um, that these funding sources are out there and there's a great series of resources available to students and prospective students to be able to start going after these kinds of large grants that can fund you through your graduate career. So for instance, the NSF GRFP, we have workshops here on campus uh, which allow you to meet with past winners and uh, find out really the ins and outs of what it is and how to go about approaching, uh, applying for, and going after these in the end. And every step, every small grant that you may receive is kind of a um, ladder to the next funding sources available for you as well. So. Um, the words of our past distinguished scholarship person here on campus, Sarah Ann Holmes, was money in a way breeds money. And so being able to even find small funding sources and continue moving forward and using your experiences from applying but also receiving some of these kind of things can allow you to continue forward to find other sources of funding for your research at large. And these funding sources in the end, the Fulbright and the NSF GRFP are going to be able to help me conduct research actually for four years, for half a year each year in Honduras on my uh, Jaguar, Cougar, and Ocelot project down there. Okay. Are you planning to, I guess, travel other other places besides Costa Rica for your research? Or? Yes, and so um, one of the big things and one of the things I really talked about when I was applying for funding was I have a really great passion for international research and being able to go into these different areas of the world that there's a big need to understand better how our natural world works and create solutions uh, with the na uh, native communities in those areas to have long-lasting conservation implications for be it big cats or any other kind of processes that may be occurring. And so my uh, research, um, both during my undergraduate and now into my graduate work, has often sent me abroad. I've traveled to Belize, working with a professor out of Virginia Tech on a Jaguar research project there, Costa Rica on the Ocelot Latrine project that I talked about um, during my undergraduate, and then now on to Honduras. So uh, you can see that there's kind of a pattern of a research, especially in, focusing in on Latin America, uh, where I am a bilingual, uh, I do speak Spanish. I um, have both d uh, during my work as well as during my personal life have uh, had a passion to both pick up different languages, specifically Spanish for, in my case, but to use my experiences and my time abroad to allow me to continue going and creating an impact in these different communities down there and finding out some interesting stuff along the way.